Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. We are now in the module 7 in ICT and entrepreneurship in TLE6. So in this video, we are going to talk about the functions and formulas in an electronic spreadsheet tool to perform advanced calculations on numerical data. It is based on the Unified Supplementary Learning Materials, also known as USLEM. The expectation at the end of the SLEM, you should be able to 1. Define an electronic spreadsheet. 2. Identify functions and formulas found in Excel. 3. Give the symbols of operations used in Excel. And 4. Use functions and formulas in an electronic spreadsheet tool to perform advanced calculations on numerical data. Before we move on to the lesson proper, please answer the pretest. Directions. Arrange the letters to form the correct word. Write your answer on the space provided. This time, please bring out your TLE6 notebook and write your answers there. You may pause this video as you answer. And after that, once you are done, you may resume this video. Please start answering now. Let us proceed with the continuation of the pretest. Again, please pause this video so you can answer it. And once you are done, you may continue watching the video. Let us now check your work. Here is the keto correction for the pretest. Number one, a document for organizing and analyzing data is a spreadsheet. Two, an electronic to use for computing large quantities of numbers, electronic spreadsheet. Three, it is where data information in the spreadsheet is placed. The answer is cells. Four, it is a starting sign of basic Excel formula. The answer is equal sign. Five, it is used as guide or rule to perform calculations. The answer is formula. Six, it is arranged into a series of cells with a unique address which is determined by columns and rows. The answer is worksheet. Seven, this area displays the contents of the active cells. The answer is a formula bar. Eight, a program that provides everything you need from application management to easy and efficient filling. The answer is Microsoft Excel. Nine, it is the function that is most frequently used in worksheet. The answer is some function. 10. It is shown when worksheet do not follow the set of rules. The answer is error. So who got the perfect score? Congratulations. Now let's have the quick review. So the directions. Arrange the following procedure on how to view the online survey response summary using a spreadsheet. So write A, B, or C. So which one comes first? Please write letter A. And the second one, write letter B. And for the last procedure, write letter C. Are you done? Let us check your work. The first one is select new spreadsheet. Then it is followed by click the view responses button on the toolbar. The dialog box will appear. Let's you choose between creating a new spreadsheet or creating a new sheet in an existing spreadsheet. 
Then the last one is click create button. So let us move on to the lesson proper. An electronic spreadsheet application program is designed to perform basic mathematical and arithmetic operations. MS Excel is one of the most commonly used computerized worksheets. It is widely used in accounting and financial applications, statistics, engineering calculations, and data analysis. When it comes to education, we teachers use this to compute your grades. So ito yung ginagamit namin para mag-compute ng inyong grades. Spreadsheets are designed with functions and formulas that make it easier and convenient for you to calculate numerical data. Using formulas and functions will help you improve the accuracy of your calculations while reducing the amount of time you need to spend in Excel. Noon kasi kids, mano-mano yung pag-compute namin sa grade. So masyadong matagal kasi iniisa-isa namin per learner. Ngayon, in just one click, ang bilis matapos ng aming class record. Basta, may i-co-compute ma kami. Kasi kung wala, wala kaming mailalagay doon. Hindi namin pwedeng magicin yung grades. Functions are cal calculations which give a result to create and enter functions. Always start with an equal sign. So, ang pinakaumpisa ng formula ay equal sign. Always remember that. Without it, Excel will not calculate a result. The inputs in functions are called arguments. Arguments can be in a form of numbers, cell references, or text. There are hundreds of functions found in Excel. All of these can be accessed using either of the following methods. So, one. Click the insert function button fx on the left side of the formulas tab. So, ayan yung formula tab. You may fx function if you can see the picture. Two, select a function from one of the list in the insert function dialog box. Then, click OK button. So, please refer to the picture. Three, a function arguments dialog box will appear, which will automatically help you enter numbers. This will know instead what each function does and the arg arguments that each function considers. So, yan yung dialog box. You just have to enter kung ano yung number na dapat yung ilagay. Then, click OK kapag natapos na. Four. Directly enter the numbers into the cells. Useful from showing the format of the function and the arguments that should be inserted will appear. You can also use the mouse to click the desired ranger, ranges that you want to include in the function. Then the cell's address will automatically be inserted in your function. Once the numbers are entered in the dialog box, just click. Okay, so lalabas na kagad kapag nailagay nyo na yung tamang function para doon sa problem ninyo. Number five. The answer to the function will be shown in the, in the cell. So ayan yung dialog box. Then makikita nyo na kagad yung function. So now let us talk about the MS Excel chart. A chart is a visual representation of data in a spreadsheet program. This makes it easy to study and interpret data. So we have here the symbol, the operation, the example, and the purpose. The first symbol, as you can see, is the plus sign. So the operation is addition. The example. So the example is the formula equal sign A1 plus B2. The purpose, it adds the values of cell A1 and B2. So kung napapansin nyo, no, kung usual na magpa-plus tayo, 1 plus 1, 
dito mauna si equal sign because it is the formula. So the next symbol is a minus sign. The operation subtraction. Example, equals A1 minus B2. Purpose, it subtracts the values of cell A1 and B2. Third symbol, asterisk, the operation multiplication. Example, equals A1 asterisk B2. Purpose, it multiplies the values of cell A1 and B2. Symbol, slash. Operation, division. Example, equals A1 slash B2. Purpose, it divides the values of cell A1 and B2. Formulas on the other hand are combinations of functions and operands and operators. These are used when you are calculating manually. So below are some examples of commonly used function. And yung sum, average, count, and length. So let's talk about the sum. Sum. This is used to add two or more numbers together. Cell references are used in this formula. Separate numbers or cell references by comma, then it will automatically be added. Example, equal sum, open parenthesis, 9, comma, 14, close parenthesis, or equal sum, open parenthesis, A1, comma, B3, close parenthesis, or sum, open parenthesis, A at colon, C9, then close parenthesis. For a range of cells, separate them with a colon. Example, equal sum, open parenthesis, A2, colon, C9, close parenthesis. Now moving on to the average. This is used to calculate the average of series of numbers. So, sa education kids, sa paggamit or pagcompute ng cards ninyo, ng grades ninyo, we are using the average in order for us to get your general average. So, ano ba example nun? Equals average, open parenthesis, A1, colon, A10, then close parenthesis. Now, count. This is used to count the number of cells in a range that have numbers in them. For instance, if there are five cells that contain numbers in A1 to A15, then the result is 5. So example, equals count A1, colon A15, then close parenthesis. Si count, ang purpose nito is to count. Babasahin nila kung ano yung specific na instruction mo. For example, uh, sa class, sa isang section, Gusto namin makita kung ilan yung pumasa. So, count the number of students who got 75 and above. So, yun yung pinaka-formula. Equals count then kung ano yung pinaka-agreement. Then, length. This is used to return the length of a string or an entry. Example, equals length, open parenthesis, Entrepreneurship, close parenthesis, is 16. Now let's have an activity. Activity 1, let's do this. Direction, create an Excel file for the expenses below. Using the formulas and functions discussed, calculate the following. 2.1 equals sum, total cost of ingredients used. And 3.2 equals count. Total number of materials used. So, para makita nyo yung pinaka kabuuan nitong uh, spreadsheet, ito siya. Ayan. For those who do not have laptops or computers at home, you may do this on your notebook. So, compute nyo na lang, analyze the, the table given and compute it manually on your notebook. Kasi hindi ko naman kayo mapipilit na i-compute sa Excel kung wala nga kayong gamit. So, para may matutunan kayo, please try to solve this one in your notebook. Okay? 
So now here is the keto correction. Let us check your work. So marketing budget, allowance is 500. The items bought are the following, eggs, butter, flour, peanuts, baking powder. So if you are going to use the count function, bilangin natin ilan yung item na binili niya. We have here egg, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So there are 5 items from eggs to baking powder. Yang pababa na yan. Then, we also have here the quantity. So, how many eggs? 24 pieces. How many butter? 2 bars. Flour? 4 kilos. Peanuts? 1 kilo. Baking powder? 1 fourth kilo. Then, the cost per unit. So, for the eggs, we have 6 pesos per, per unit. Then, 38 pesos for the butter. 45 for the flour. Peanut 65 and baking powder 20 pesos. So what are you going to do is the quantity multiplied by the cost per unit in order to get the total. Okay? So 24 multiplied by 6 is 144 pesos. So for the butter, it costs 68 pesos. For the flour, it's 180 pesos. For the peanuts, 65 pesos. For the baking powder, is 20 pesos. For a total of 477 pesos. That is the total expenses. Now, in order for us to get the balance expenses, the allowance minus the total expenses. So we have here 500 pesos allowance minus. 477, which is the total expenses, and you still have 23 pesos. Okay? So, nakuha ba yan, kids? Kung nakuha yan, let us proceed with the next activity. Activity 2, let's compute. So, create an Excel file and let's help Nick to compute for his total sales for the month of June. So we have here Nick's canteen. Ito yung inventory niya for the month of June. Items sold for the month of June are the following. Hamburger, chicken sandwich, egg sandwich, fries, and pineapple juice. Magkano yung presyo? 35 pesos yung hamburger. 25 yung chicken sandwich. 15 pesos yung egg sandwich, yung price is 20 pesos. And pineapple juice is 12 pesos. So, ito naman kung ilan yung kanilang nabenta kada produkto. So, here is the number of pieces sold. For the hamburger, we have 125 pieces sold. For the chicken sandwich, 115. For the egg sandwich, we have 135. For the price, we have 200. And for the pineapple juice, we have 254. Ngayon, paano natin kukunin yung total sales? How are we going to do that? Tulad ng ginawa natin sa Activity 1, you should multiply the price times on the number of pieces sold. Then, kapag nakuha na si total sales, I plus lang si total sales. Sum it up to get the total sales. And that's it. Okay? So, here's a video tutorial on how are we going to do this. Now, again, kung wala kayong laptop or PC sa bahay para gawin to sa Excel, okay lang. Pwede nyo gawin sa notebook. So, you may pause this while answering. And for now, let us check your work while watching the video tutorial on how to do this in Excel. So let us talk about how are we going to compute uh, the total sales in the next canteen. Magkano ba yung kinita niya for the month of 
June. So hamburger, the price for that is 35 pesos and the number of pieces sold was 125 pieces. In order to get the total sales of the hamburger, we must multiply the price to the number of pieces sold. So let's do it using the Microsoft Excel. Of course, when writing the formula, you have to begin with the equal sign. Okay? So after putting in the equal sign, you can now type the formula. So since we are going to multiply, we must use product. Then, open parenthesis and highlight the cells where the price is located and the number of pieces sold. Then, close parenthesis. Now, here's the formula for, in order for us to get the total sales of the hamburger. After that, just hit the enter button. And that's the total sales. It's 4,375. Another way to compute the total sales is this one or this method. Equal sign, select the cell, then put in the asterisk that symbolizes the multiply function and this one. After that, hit the enter button. So, after getting the product, you may drag this down. Kapag ganyan na yung cursor, i-drag nyo lang to pa baba. Hanggang dito. And that's it. Nakuha na kagad natin in just uh, a matter of how many seconds. Nakompute na natin kaagad kung ano yung dapat nating makuha. Now, how are we going to compute the total sales for the month of June? Kasi yun yung hinahanap dito sa problem. So, to get that, dito tayo sa D8, D, and 8. Okay. So, let us enter the formula. Equal sign. Then, sum. We must total the, the total sales for each product. So, from... D3 to D7. So the formula for this is equal sum, then open parenthesis, D3 colon D7, then close parenthesis. And that's it. After that, click enter or hit the enter button. And that is the total sales for the month of June in next canteen. So there is other way on how are we going to get the total sales. Let us delete this one. So we can highlight all these cells again from D3 to D7 then click the auto sum function. This one. This is called the auto sum function. And once we click that we can now get the answer. That's it. So the third method is this one. Let me delete this. So we can manually add the total sales by putting in this formula. Equals. Then selecting it manually. D3 plus. We are now going to use the plus sign. Then D4 plus. D5 plus D6, and plus D7. After that, hit the enter button. So, those are the ways on how are we going to use the formulas for Excel or the commands for Excel. And this is now the answer for the activity 2.
So we have 4,375 total sales for the hamburger. And for the chicken sandwich, we have 2,875. For the egg sandwich, we have 2,025 pesos. For the price, we have 4,000. And for the pineapple juice, we have 3,048. And once you sum it up, we have a total of 16,323. Okay. So remember, an electronic spreadsheet software is used to create and produce calculated data needed by individuals and businesses. And businesses. The spreadsheet is designed with functions and formulas that make it easier and convenient for you to calculate numerical data. The Excel function always starts with an equal sign. Formulas, on the other hand, are used when you are calculating manually. So let's check your understanding. Directions, write true if the statement is correct and false if it's not. Write your answer on the space provided. So this time, again, please bring out your TLE6 notebook and write your answers there. Pause this video while you answer and resume it once you are done. Let us now check your work. Number one, the count is used to calculate the number of cells in a range that have numbers in them. The correct answer is true. Two, there are only four functions in MS Excel. The correct answer is false. Three, the LEN formula counts the number of characters in a cell. True. Four, functions are combinations of functions, operands, and operators. The answer is true. Five, average is used to add up two or more numbers together. The answer is false. So for your post test, please scan the QR code that you can see on the screen or you may also access the link below in the description box. And that ends my presentation. If you have any questions and clarifications, please comment down below. I'll try to answer that. So I hope you learned something from me. I'll see you again in my next beat. Goodbye and stay safe, everyone.